Maple Road. Originally, Q cars and a few Manhattan trains were used on this shuttle service, probably for no more than a year or so. And then about 1956 or 57, the steel subway cars, which were surplus from the IRT subway, were brought over here to the 3rd Avenue L. All of these were Steinway series cars, including Steinway standard body cars and Steinway World's Fair bodied cars built in 1938. This is at 161st Street with the train turning the curve over 3rd Avenue where it merges with St. Anne's Avenue into the 161st Street Station. A scene from the Fulton Avenue bridge of a shuttle train heading northbound toward 161st Street. The Steinway series cars originally had no trailers. However, for 3rd Avenue L service, trailer cars from the standard run of IRT cars were modified to operate with the Steinway cars, and so the uh, five car trains for the 3rd Avenue L were set up with a motor car, another motor car, a trailer car, and two more motor cars comprising a five car train. This is the sharp curve at 183rd Street with a northbound train heading away from us toward Fordham Road. Here we have another view of the 138th Street curve in 1963 when the old style IRT cars were still running. As you can see, the World's Fair cars were intermingled with standard body IRT motor cars as well as with the standard body trailer cars in the middle of each train. For as long as these trains operated on the 3rd Avenue L, they remained five car sets. This is from Theodore Roosevelt High School looking west toward the Fordham Station. The northbound train is just leaving Fordham Road and is heading northbound toward 200th Street. The buildings in the background face Webster Avenue and Fordham University campus may be seen on the right in this view showing a southbound train coming into Fordham Road Station. This train has just left Fordham Road Station and is heading south on the diagonal section of 3rd Avenue, heading toward 183rd Street Station. A northbound train approaching Fordham Road. Another northbound train approaching Fordham Road, seen from Park Avenue this time, looking northeastward. There's the Fordham Station, also lettered 149th Street, I'm sorry, also lettered 190th Street on the signs, and various views of the old style IRT cars on the 3rd Avenue L around Fordham. That northbound train is just approaching Fordham Road. The bus is turning on 189th Street. Here's a southbound train at Fordham Road. The Fordham switch tower was still there, although long since closed. Until 1951, the old spur from, of uh, the 3rd Avenue L from Fordham Road to the Botanical Garden was still in place, but that was eliminated in November of 1951, and with the removal of the switches north of the Fordham station, there was no longer any need for the tower. The tower was simply used for storage after then. This train is heading south from Fordham Road toward 183rd Street, crossing over 189th Street. North of Fordham Road, a southbound train approaching over the private right-of-way adjacent to the Fordham University campus. And in a more distant shot, that train has just crossed over the New York Central tracks, turning from Webster Avenue and coming into the private right-of-way north of the Fordham station. Passes a northbound train heading up, toward, heading up toward Gun Hill Road, and we see the northbound train swinging off to the left there, crossing over the four track New York Central Harlem Division. This train is coming off Webster Avenue, turning over the New York Central's Harlem Division, and is heading south into the Fordham Road station.
This train is doing the same thing. This train is northbound on Webster Avenue, just north of the point where it crossed over the New York Central's Harlem Division. Now we are looking south from the old pedestrian viaduct from the long abandoned and demolished Botanical Garden Station, the original terminal of the 3rd Avenue L from 1901 to 1920 when the Webster Avenue extension was built. This is looking south. There's a New York Central local train and the 3rd Avenue L in the background this, this scene has a northbound 3rd Avenue train just having crossed the New York Central and is heading north toward the 200th Street Station. In the foreground is the remaining portion of the pedestrian viaduct from the old Botanical Garden L Spur, and the L itself uh, the, uh, is on Webster Avenue there in this view. This northbound train is passing over Marshall Parkway. The viaduct over Marshall Parkway had a concrete roadbed in order to deaden the sound for several blocks and make train operation smoother as it crossed over Marshall Parkway. Here may be seen the Marshall Parkway viaduct with its concrete roadbed, and in the lower part of the picture is the truss bridge that carried Marshall Parkway over Webster Avenue. So this was a three-level intersection here, Webster Avenue below, Marshall Parkway in the middle, and the 3rd Avenue L on top. Southbound train having crossed Marshall Parkway is approaching the 200th Street Station. Bedford Park Boulevard was never called 200th Street, but the station always was called 200th Street and not Bedford Park Boulevard. These are additional views on Webster Avenue beyond 204th Street Station. This is from Parkside Avenue, the street which goes up to meet the L level and then down the other side in the vicinity of the 210th Street Station. From Parkside Avenue, we're looking eastward toward White Plains Road and Gun Hill Road with an IRT subway train on the upper level and a 3rd Avenue L train on the lower level. This is Parkside Avenue with a 3rd Avenue L train southbound leaving the 210th Street Station. With a 1960 Chevrolet in the foreground and we now look eastward again on Gun Hill Road toward White Plains Road. The IRT station may be seen on the upper level and the 3rd Avenue L station on the lower level. The 3rd Avenue L train is approaching us on the portion over Gun Hill Road as the IRT subway train heads south out of the Gun Hill Road station. A more distant view of the same scene shows a 3rd Avenue L train turning from Gun Hill Road southward onto Webster Avenue. A northbound train here is doing the same thing, turning northward or rather eastward onto Gun Hill Road from Webster Avenue and is heading over to the two-level IRT and 3rd Avenue L station at White Plains Road. In later years, the later 1960s and early 70s, the five-car trains, trains of Steinways were replaced by four-car trains of R12 series cars, the first IRT cars acquired after World War II. These are views at the Gun Hill Road station, the lower level, which was the 3rd Avenue L level, and we're going to take a ride down the 3rd Avenue L looking out the back of one of those four car trains of R12 series cars. These cars were also surplus from the IRT subway, having been replaced by newer equipment. They were modified by having the electric brake arrangement uh, changed so that they would not make uh, very sudden stops on the 3rd Avenue L. And they worked, I believe, on straight air brakes during their tenure on the 3rd Avenue L. We're leaving 204th Street Station here, looking out the back of a southbound train. 
Originally, uh, these cars, well, when these cars first came to the 3rd Avenue L, they were painted red. Then they were given the uh, silver and blue paint scheme. There's 200th Street Station, and now we're turning off Webster Avenue, crossing the New York Central Harlem Division. There's the stub of the Botanical Garden Spur, still visible, and here we're passing through Fordham Road Station. There's a northbound four-car train in the Fordham Road Station, and now we're heading down the diagonal portion of 3rd Avenue and around the sharp curve at 183rd Street. We're leaving 183rd Street Station, and here we've just passed 180th Street Station. Now we're approaching Tremont Avenue Station. We've made the station stop and we're leaving Tremont Avenue, still heading southbound. There's a four-car train heading north out of the 174th Street Station. Claremont Parkway Station. There's 161st Street Station. And now we follow 3rd Avenue around the sharp curve where it diverges from St. Anne's Avenue, passes the old Bronx Criminal Courthouse building, and 3rd Avenue makes another turn, and we come down through the 156th Street Station, and then we head down into the 149th Street Terminal. At 149th Street, there is a free transfer to the IRT subway, via an enclosed passageway from the L platform down to the subway mezzanine. In later years, most of the shuttle trains here use the east track at the 149th Street Station. The center track pit had been planked over even before the abandonment of service south of 149th Street. Bumping blocks were installed at the ends of the track at the south end of 149th Street Station. An extra row of lamp posts was set up on the uh, planking covering the old express track pit. We're looking out the back of a train now heading north out of 149th Street, and we'll return to Gun Hill Road. There on the left is the stub of the Westchester Avenue connection to the West Farms line. And we pass by several stations in the South Bronx, there's the Claremont Parkway between 171st and 172nd Streets Station, probably the longest named station anywhere on the New York City transit system. We've rounded the curve at 183rd Street and are heading along the diagonal portion of 3rd Avenue, and now we are approaching Fordham Road. We enter the Fordham Road Station. We leave the Fordham Road Station. The old Fordham Tower is still visible, straddling the two station platforms and canopies. But the switches are long since removed, and only the two tracks in service remain. We've crossed over the New York Central tracks and are heading north up Webster Avenue. We've passed the 200th Street Station, and we're on the, con and we're on the concrete roadbed of the viaduct over Marshall Parkway. On our right is a train in layup south of 204th Street, and right around this curve is 204th Street Station. We're passing through 204th Street, and we're approaching 210th Street. Now we've made the turn onto Gun Hill Road and are heading eastward, still looking out the back of a train. We're arriving at the Gun Hill Road and White Plains Road terminal on the lower level of the IRT elevated subway station. There is a train leaving the lower level, heading southward for another run down to 149th Street. And in these views, we see trains arriving and leaving along Gun Hill Road between Webster Avenue and White Plains Road. In this telephoto view, 
Taken from the IRT upper level station, we see a 3rd Avenue northbound train approaching in an eastward direction the Gun Hill Road terminal. And still looking down from the IRT platforms, we see a southbound 3rd Avenue train leaving Gun Hill Road heading westward on the Gun Hill Road portion of the line. The southbound train is rounding the question mark shaped curve at Gun Hill Road and Webster Avenue, turning into Webster Avenue and pulling into the 210th Street Station. This train is seen from east of the Gun Hill Road Station looking westward as it rounds the curve under the IRT subway level and pulls into the lower level of the two-level Gun Hill Road terminal. I should say Gun Hill Road Station because it wasn't a terminal for the IRT subway lines overhead. From the top of an apartment building, we see a train heading eastward, uh, I'm sorry, heading westward on Gun Hill Road, having left White Plains Road and is now rounding the curve and pulling into the 210th Street Station. From another rooftop, we look down on the 200th Street Station at Bedford Park Boulevard. We just saw a southbound train leaving, and here's a northbound train making its station stop and pulling out, heading north toward Gun Hill Road. From the same rooftop, we look north toward the 204th Street Station, still with the train and layup on the middle track, but here comes a southbound train leaving 204th Street and crossing over Marshall Loop Parkway on the viaduct with the concrete roadbed. Now this southbound train is seen turning off Webster Avenue, crossing the New York Central's Harlem Division, and heading over onto the private right-of-way north of Fordham, and adjacent to the Fordham University campus, and will shortly pull into the Fordham Road Station. This northbound train has just left Fordham Road Station, is heading over the private right-of-way, now it turns over the New York Central's Harlem Division, and heads up Webster Avenue, and will eventually reach Gun Hill Road. Fordham Plaza here, actually 189th Street, just south of the Fordham Station, with a northbound train approaching Fordham Station, and a southbound train pulling into Fordham Station. The parking lot in the foreground was used primarily by shoppers in the Fordham area, particularly the large Sears Roebuck store right at Fordham, Webster, and Park Avenues. As seen from Park Avenue looking over 189th Street, and now as seen from Decatur Avenue looking eastward across Fordham Road, across Fordham Square to the elevated station. There's a southbound train having made its station stop, is pulling out, up, is pulling out now heading for 149th Street. In a similar view from the Sears Roebuck building, we see a train heading south out of Fordham Station, heading down the diagonal portion of the 3rd Avenue L toward 183rd Street, and the two trains northbound and southbound are passing uh, on the curve on the diagonal portion of the line. The train at the top is heading into 183rd Street, the train at the bottom is heading into Fordham Road. The train pulls into Fordham Road Station, makes its station stop, and then heads out. Crossing over Fordham Road, the train traverses the private right-of-way. Now we're down at 183rd Street, and we have a southbound train having made the sharp curve at 184th Street. It pulls into the 183rd Street Station. This northbound train is just pulling out of the 183rd Street Station, rounding the sharp curve and heading up the diagonal portion of 3rd Avenue toward Fordham Road. Bedford Park Boulevard again. The station, of course, is still called 200th Street. And a view at 183rd Street. 
and at 180th Street, a southbound train as seen from Quarry Road, just north of the 180th Street itself. Two trains now are in 180th Street Station, and this northbound train is leaving 180th Street Station, passing by St. Barnabas Hospital grounds. This northbound train is crossing over the Cross Bronx Expressway on the portion of the 3rd Avenue L, which was raised in the early 1950s to make way for the expressway. So the 3rd Avenue L had two places, Marshallou Parkway and the Cross Bronx Expressway, where it was the middle level of, where it was the, where it was one level of a three-level intersection. The 3rd Avenue L was abandoned in 1973, April 29, 1973, and scrapping began shortly afterward and took several years because some of the portions of the line were quite difficult to uh, remove. The Marshallou Parkway viaduct and the portion over the Cross Bronx Expressway and the section crossing the New York Central tracks Fordham, uh, north of Fordham Road were left in place for removal after the rest of the line was gone because special arrangements had to be made for uh, removing them the uh, portions of the line that crossed the railroad tracks or the roadway. These are views around 174th Street. The uh, heavy equipment there by uh, the Gerosa heavy equipment firm is engaged in scrapping the line. And section by section, panel by panel, girder by girder, the 3rd Avenue L is cut apart and taken down. Sections such as this were lowered onto flatbed trailer trucks and were hauled away to the Morris Heights area on the Harlem River where the steel was apparently placed on barges and sent to be scrapped. As each section was taken down, the express track was cut away by men with cutting torches. The girders were lowered to the street, leaving only the pillars and the outside girders, which were then removed section by section. Here's another section of the express track being lowered to a flatbed trailer truck. There is the isolated portion over the Cross Bronx Expressway, waiting its final fate sometime in 1975. Special arrangements had to be made to close the expressway for several hours while the girders were cut apart and removed. There's the remains of the Tremont Avenue station in the process of being scrapped. These views are seen from the terrace in Crotona Park where the Borough Hall once stood. Still at Tremont Avenue. Looking north from Tremont Avenue, we see that most of the L structure has already been removed. Here's the sharp curve at 183rd Street. The station has already been demolished, and the portion of the structure on the curve is about to go next. You can see the cuts made in the transverse girders, preparatory to removing the center track girders and lowering them onto flatbed trucks. This is what remains of Fordham Road Station. Only a skeleton is visible now that scrapping is underway. This is 1974, possibly early 1975. This is at 189th Street and 3rd Avenue on the curve of the 3rd Avenue L from the diagonal portion of 3rd Avenue into the Fordham Station. 
There's the Fordham station after the section south of 189th Street had already been cut away. The buses are moving on 189th Street. This bus is coming south on Park Avenue and will turn into 189th Street and head down 3rd Avenue. Uh, it may be a Bronx 55 as a replacement for the 3rd Avenue L, but no, that was a bus just making a, a U-turn at Fordham Plaza. Looking north on Webster Avenue, north of Fordham, where the L turned over the New York Central tracks, and here's the remains of the Bedford Park Boulevard, the 200th Street Station at Bedford Park Boulevard. Built in 1920, demolished 1974 and 75. Looking westward on Bedford Park Boulevard, we see the 200th Street Station in the process of demolition. Girders are lowered onto flatbed trucks as elsewhere and are hauled away.